Hey, welcome to Greg's Maker Corner. In this video, I'm going to be going over my initial impressions of the Mellow V330 VZ Bot Kit. I would like to thank my sponsor, Provoke 3D, for sponsoring this kit. It's phenomenal. This is a great kit. It took me about three weeks from the time I started building this kit uh, to getting it completed. I will say it was a little bit more ambitious of a build than I was anticipating. But first, let's go ahead and see this thing printing. Alright, as you can see in the video, I am not completely done with this printer yet. There are side panels, there's also side cooling fans that I can still add. I've only actually initially got it printing. I went ahead and have printed a Benchy and a Cube, and after printing those, you know, both of those were printed around 300 millimeters per second at 10k accelerations. And I haven't even printed slower than that yet, so I gotta say, I'm blown away by just the speed and the promises that this printer can live up to. If you watch Vez, pretty much the main guy on the design team, you will see some of his videos where he's printing just insane speeds, you know, 100k accelerations, one meter per second squared print speed. I'm a true believer now. So just having printed at a very conservative starting point, I can easily see how I can get this printer up to speed. And that is what you can expect when you get it, when you build a VZ bot and you build it nice and sturdy and square. The stock components that are included in the kit give you everything you need to achieve those high speeds. Now if you've been watching my channel for a while, uh, you've seen me build many Voron printers and uh, go through step by step, and I will say the VZBot is, it's a little more ambitious than a Voron. You're not going to get a 300 page manual. However, uh, there's a lot of documentation out there. The manual that you do get is what I would consider MVP or minimum viable product. So that means you're going to have guidelines rather than step-by-step -step directions. And that's okay. If you're an experienced builder and maybe you built a Voron before or a Prusa Mark IV, you can probably pull this off. Now, the one area that I will say is a little more challenging than some of those other printers is going to be the, the electronic side of it. If you have never done AC or mains wiring on a printer before, if you've never built anything this complex in terms of the electronics layout, you're, you're definitely in for, um, you know, for a learning experience here. But with that in mind, it's really not too difficult. The electronics documentation is very straightforward and you can easily figure out how to put one of these together. Here's the first Benchy that I printed. This is the fastest Benchy I've ever printed before. This was printed before I've done any calibration. And I will be tuning things like Input Shaper to get rid of the ringing there. But I have not done that yet. There were definitely some shortcomings of this kit and trade-offs. I would say the biggest area is going to be around the back panel where I did have to go in and open up a few holes and drill a few holes for DIN mounting for my electronics. That's optional. Um, you don't necessarily have to do that. Um, I, I do think if you want to mount your power supplies in the back like the stock lays it out that you will want to do that. Um, I, I am hoping that Mellow does fix that and address that for future kits. Just be aware that there were other things like fasteners. You know, I, I had plenty of fasteners left over, but in some cases, like I, maybe I didn't have enough M3 by eights, right? So there were just kind of things like that that came up. Now I did document my entire build log from when I started all the way to when I print, started printing. Uh, that is out on the discord. There's a link to that in the description. And I've also documented in a kind of in a, like a, basically a PDF file, um, my recommendations, as well as all the th parts and tools and different things that you're gonna need to think about getting in order to pull one of these builds off in addition to the kit. There's a lot out there that you're gonna need to think about. If you are an experienced builder, this kit is definitely a good one to consider. If you're brand new, um, I would actually consider building something like a Voron Zero first, uh, even though that is considered one of the most complicated Voron builds, but if you can complete a Voron Zero, it's going to allow you to kind of bootstrap some of the parts that you need for this printer, but you're also going to be able to test your skills. And if you can build a Voron Zero, 
I'm pretty confident you can build one of these. So in summary, would I get this kit? Would I recommend this? Yes. If you are an experienced builder, if you want to be on the cutting edge of 3D printing and push your printer to the max, you really want to print some speed benchies, maybe you just don't have a lot of room and you just need a fast printer, adding additional printers is probably an easier way to get print speed, but if you don't have the room for it, this is a great option. There are a lot of good reasons to get this printer. There, there are some reasons you might not want to get this uh, kit as well. One of those reasons would be you're a new, you're new to 3D printing. You don't have the experience with electronics and wiring yet. Uh, you don't like crimping. Hey, there's a lot of crimping on this thing. Uh, I spent a full day and a half just doing the electric, the electronics crimping, and part of that was figuring out layouts and things. But there's a lot of work there. Realistically. You can probably build this printer in a long weekend if you're really experienced. If you're not as experienced or you don't have full time to dedicate to this build, I would budget a few weeks. You're, if you're like me, you're also going to end up needing to order a few parts here and there, so allow some time for that. I'm really excited to just venture into the VZBot community. I got to say there have been some very helpful people out there in the Discord, and one of them, you know, I ran into a challenge with my 5160 steppers and several discord users gave me some ideas and tips and ultimately uh, discord user pork cube was able to diagnose my situation and gave me like a driver setting that helped me kind of move forward you can also look at other build logs in the discord you can see what people did hey i hope you found this video to be helpful if you have any questions about the vz bot or if you're on the fence feel free to pop a question in the comments I hope this video has been useful. Stay tuned for the build series. I'm going to try and release those as I get them done, but it's probably going to take a little bit of time, right? There's a lot of footage there. And as always, uh, thanks again for watching Greg's Maker Corner. Mm -hmm.